Welcome to the first of Rosen Sound's new videos on our updated YouTube channel. Today we'll be going through the restoration of a 1975 Oberheim TVS-1 synthesizer sequencer, also known as the Two Voice. Located in Burbank, California, we specialize in the repair and restoration of vintage synthesizers exclusively. We also provide vintage synths for rental to the local community and have naturally become a purveyor in these rare instruments as well. We've been keeping a pretty low profile online for the past seven years, but all of that is about to change. We want to share our passion for vintage synthesizers with you. Let's move on to the Two Voice. We recently acquired this unit from a client who originally brought it in for repair. He shared his plan to sell the synth, and we couldn't pass up the chance to acquire this classic. This synth had had some service previously from another local tech, but was showing failures once again. Thankfully, the client who sold it to us spelled the issues out clearly in pen and blue tape right on the front of the synth. Besides addressing the issues at hand, a top-to-bottom restoration will be done to also address most future ailments preemptively, starting with the total strip down. This is when Rob gets very excited about things like these original screws that haven't been lost. First, we remove the SEMs to assess what work has possibly been done in the past. We can see that two choice trimmers have been changed in one, but not the other. These will be replaced for uniformity alongside other components that will aid in the overall stability of the modules. But first, we must rebuild the power supply. Here we see all of the modules removed from the chassis. Each will now be fully disassembled and gone through comprehensively. Using a deep set nut driver, all of the collet knobs will be carefully removed from the module's faceplates. As we typically find, nearly 40 years of gunk and grime have accumulated under these knobs. Special care is taken when interacting with the VCO frequency veneers, as the dual concentric shaft is susceptible to bends and breaks. Some years ago, we had the shafts remanufactured and have a large stock of them, but that's no reason to be careless with the original parts. Years of dust bunnies and grime is carefully wiped away with a gentle, long bristle brush, and great attention is paid to parts sometimes not even visible to the user. Next, the interboard connectors are gently polished and checked for oxidation. Each knob on these earlier Oberheims are actually the sum of three parts, and each will be fully disassembled and cleaned with mild cleaning solvents on a Q-tip before being re-tightened to the control pots. Careful attention is paid to ensure that once tightened, all of the knob pointers are pointing in similar directions at both ends of the pot travel. Finally, the knob caps are put back on and we can move on to the most important part, the electronics. To aid in tuning stability, the initial tune and volt per octave trimmers are changed for both oscillators on each SEM. Here we see Rob putting insulating tape over the solder mask so that the trimmers can be affixed to the board securely without potentially shorting to the trace underneath. This is commonly overlooked by other technicians. The tantalum timing capacitors for the envelopes will be changed as well, and for posterity's sake, the original heat shrink will be transferred from the old caps to the new. Next, we will clean up the mixer module, which was especially dirty compared to the other modules. Since it was noisy, the op amps were changed preemptively with the same part number. A lot of caked on dirt was cleaned off the circuit board, and of course, the capacitors were changed as well. Now we will do some basic servicing to the sequencer, including cleaning all of the dual gang pots, repairing past repairs that weren't done so nicely, and changing choice trimmers to ensure that each quantized voltage step is chromatically true. You might notice that we did not use multi-turn trim pods for the trimmer replacements, and that is because they are not always needed or beneficial. Here we see the refurbished power supply, and the unit and Tolex case will now be cleaned before being reassembled. Finally, the unit is put back together after receiving its comprehensive servicing. As expected, all of the issues presented are now solved without almost any troubleshooting needed. After a 30-minute warm-up, every power supply and function is calibrated. The keyboard electronics were also serviced, however, done off camera. This unit featured an original Oberheim sticker on the side that was super cool, although it was beginning to peel off. A little dab of glue was all that was needed to reaffix it to the Tolex. At this point in the video, the restoration is complete and we can just sit back and marvel at this beautiful instrument that Tom Oberheim created and released in 1975.
We here at the shop believe that while every part of the process is critically important, the proof is really in the pudding. And the pudding here is the sound and performance of the synthesizer. We are so fortunate to have someone on our staff that is incredibly talented and has actually worked with Tom Oberheim in a personal capacity for many years. Benny Bach will now take us, with the help of the Roland 301 Chorus Echo, into the sonic universe of the Oberheim TVS-1. Thank you.